YouTube, what is what is going on? What the deal is, man? It's your boy Tech King Mike. I'm back with another video for you guys, and today, today, we got some heat to talk about. I was given an opportunity. Uh, first and foremost, shout out to Betrayal Jennings. He's Syntech. I will have his channel link below in the description. Shout out to him because I was blessed with an opportunity that a lot of people don't get. I got to try out the Galaxy Z Fold 2 for the last week. This thing came Monday as of recording this video. It's Friday and I got some thoughts on it and I'm kind of in the middle. So we're going to talk about it. I'm going to try to keep this short, but I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and feelings about the Z, not just the Z Fold 2, but just foldables in general as we move into the Fold 3 debut and the Mate X2 just came out recently, uh, the Mi Mix Fold, the, the, the Xiaomi just came out recently. And as we get ready to like, you know, move to the next generation, I have some thoughts about this one in particular that kind of, I don't know, I might be going against the grain here, but this isn't for me like I thought it was. So first thing that I want to touch on is this is the coolest thing I have ever used in my entire life, tech-wise. When I was younger, I used to I used to really want a Nokia communicator. I didn't know why. I, I was in middle school, and I just knew I wanted the Nokia communicator because I thought it was so cool to have something that you can just do like this on when I was younger. And lo and behold, here we are, 20 years later, and we have the tech to do this. We have literally we literally have the tech to do this with touch screens now it's insane to me and it's it's truly this thing is truly amazing but there are there are some things about it that i just can't get past and it's for that reason why i can't use this right now like i would want to so i'll start with the first one it's only a few of them so i'm, I'm gonna start with the first one i'm not a fan of the front screen now if it works for you just this disclaimer if it works for you it works for you please Please just just let, let's leave it there, okay? Don't try to convince me otherwise, and I won't try to convince you otherwise. If it works for you, it works for you. But for me, I find the front screen to be just a little bit too narrow, and it's still just too small for me. Even with text zoomed in in certain situations, the way that apps just kind of don't don't seem to want to work with the aspect ratio. I wear glasses when my eyes get fatigued, and I have actually had more issues with the front screen of this phone than I've had with any phone I've used in the last year. And I and like I said, I can't explain it. I really can't explain it, but it's just something about the small form factor of this touch screen that just really throws me off. Which kind of leads me into the second thing that I dislike about it, which is I feel like I'm forced to use it like this. Now don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. That's the point. You want it. that's the point of the fold, right? That's the point. The point is to have a smartphone and a tablet type of device in one. So you might think, well, well, Mike, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use it like this, and you might be right. But for me, this doesn't com this doesn't compute. Sometimes I want to be able to just pull out the phone and quickly respond to something and put it back in my pocket. I may not be in the position, I may have something in my hand, I may be somewhere trying to do something, and I may not be in the position to constantly pull this thing out and unfold it. The biggest example that goes through my mind is two things. One of them is a current, the other one is on the way. I have a dog that is 70 pounds. So when I take her for a walk, I don't have the time to be holding her leash and oh, I gotta respond to something. Let me hold the leash and open the phone at the same time. That's either a recipe for her getting away or this falling on the ground. And I ain't got time for either one of them. The second scenario is that I got a baby on the way. And I don't wanna be trying to do things with my baby on me in my arm. I don't wanna be trying to do things with this small screen and struggling and like, okay, well, let me just, well, I got my baby in my arm. Let me just, let me just open this up. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like that's practical for me in my usage. So those two things really bothered me about the fact that I have, I feel like I have to constantly open the phone up. And the only other thing, the only other thing, and this one, I really had to nitpick. I really had to nitpick on this one, is I dislike that, I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but mine, this, now this isn't mine. Like I said, this was sent to me by Latrell Jenny. So Latrell, if you're watching this video, you might want to call, call Samsung. This thing has been getting really freaking hot. Like, I use it every single day since it's been sent to me, 
and I can count almost every single day, even with this case on that I've touched it and I'm just like, man, this is kind of, this is warm. You know, and I don't I don't game like that on my phone, social media, reading a book, stuff like that. I'm very simple. I don't do a lot of stuff with my phone. And it just was really, really uncomfortable. So it didn't happen a lot, but it happened enough that I noticed it and I and I had to make a note of it. Now we can skip past the usual lackadaisy stuff and the usual BS about the fold to, oh, the cameras aren't the best that they have to offer. We all know this already. Oh, I wish it had 512. We know this already. Those are things that I can only say at this point, at this this late in the game, two two months away from the potential Fold 3 coming out, I just hope that that's rectified with the next one. But you might be asking yourself, well, Mike, do you, do you like anything about the Fold? And aside from the things that I mentioned, I love everything about this phone. Battery life is insane. Being able to open this phone up and read a book, look at a TV show or a YouTube video or just, just it was scrolling anything, anything, not just social media, anything, web pages. I've done more stuff with this thing than I have with my computer. And I feel like that's where the Z Fold 2 kind of loses me. If I wanted a tablet, I'd buy a tablet. When I walk around with my phone for just my day-to-day -day usage, I want to be able to pull my phone out, do what I need to do, and put my phone back in my pocket. I don't want to have to I don't want to pull my phone out and have to open up my tablet to do things. And that is that's that's the main reason why I'm I've str I'm in the middle. Like it's kind of awkward. I'm in the middle. Now, Latrell did tell me that I had quite a bit of time with this. Um I I, I still have until he says he wants it back. So for me personally, I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep trying to use it and keep seeing what it's hitting on. And maybe these things will change. Maybe within a week or so, I'll feel different. One thing I can say is durability. I was really shocked at the fact that this thing is as durable as it is. Now, my truck used to have a, a hard kind of rubber, whatever type of floor material that you want to call it. But recently, I was able to get some nice kind of like um, floor mats, carpet esque type stuff in my semi truck so when something drops i'm not you know <gasps> like i used to be and i can honestly say that this thing when it has fallen i have kind of just been like yeah you know like it hasn't bothered me like it used to even here at the house using it around my dog i don't feel like oh i gotta watch it because you know if if she gets to if she gets rowdy and wants to play with me and i've got this plastic screen opened up puncture you know like i don't have to worry about that i truly feel like this is a solid device and I want one. I want one bad. I got, I'm, I'm keeping a whole buck with you guys. I want one really bad. But I can't bring myself to buy one right now. And the main reason why is because we're two months away from the Fold 3. And I want to see what the Fold 3 has to offer before I pull the trigger on one of these. If the Fold 3 does not give me the bigger screen in the front, better cameras, even though these aren't bad, 512 would be nice and obviously they're going to continue to improve the, the 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 ultra thin glass or whatever they call it then oh that's that's a no-brainer that's a no-brainer i i've got a phone that i can trade in for a fold three but the issue right now is that in order for me to pick up one of these and see and this is a device and call me bougie you call me whatever you want i'm not buying this i don't want to buy one of these used and if and if it is used i want a warranty and i want to know that it's that, that, that it's going to transfer to me and i don't think that that's possible so i'm not ready to give samsung anywhere from 900 to 15 to 1600 dollars if i can't find a phone to trade in to get it at that 900 dollars price at the end of the day no matter how i flip it i'm still spending about 1600 dollars and i just can't mentally justify doing that when there's another one just two months away. That's like anybody who wants to buy an iPhone right now. Sure, if you need a phone, I'll tell you to go buy one. But with the new iPhones right around the corner, I have to tell myself, boy, chill. You know, so it's kind of, it's, 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 it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. I really wish that my biggest regret about the Z Fold 2, and this is, this, this is the Spigen Slim Armor, which that's a whole nother rant. We'll get into that another video. That's a whole nother rant. But my biggest issue with the Fold is not the Fold, it's that I didn't pull the trigger sooner. That is my biggest issue with the Fold. But lesson learned, again, I'm thankful for the opportunity to do this, and who knows, I'm, 
like I said, if the fold three ain't hitting on those on those points that I wanted to, I might pick one of these up because at that point, it'll be even more discounted than it already is. As of right now, at the filming of this video, the Z Fold 2 is $200 off on Samsung's website, and you can get a fold and trade it in for up to $600 in trading credit after you do any kind of education discount, military discount, or whatever. For me, after taxes, I'm sitting at right around $1,000. But again, I have to find a fold to trade in or I could just do like some people and just buck the system and just give Samsung a thousand and then in two weeks or three weeks when they ask for the, for me to send in the trade-in device, I just pay them the other the other six hundred dollars. But I don't want to do that. I, I don't I don't want to go through that. If I'm if I'm gonna buy it, I want to buy it, do it the right way, and be done with it because I truly do enjoy this device. There are just a few things about it that kind of just turn me away. And at the same time, those same things that turn me away can in can can bring me back i just need samsung to tweak a few things but those are my initial thoughts and impressions after using a z fold 2 in 2021 for the last week so maybe we'll do another follow-up video next week and see how this is going after two weeks of usage maybe I'll, maybe some things will change for me i'm not sure but i can tell you this i don't have any iphone Right, I don't have any iPhone, I don't have any other device in my house. The only other device that I have in my house is a Pixel and it's in the box. I am using this as my everyday phone. Nothing else is, no, no other device is on me except for this phone. So these thoughts and these experiences that I'm giving you are legit mine from someone who is taking this to work every day in dusty, dirty environments. Someone who is taking it and using it to t capture photos and videos of his family, to just snap a photo of something I might see on the road or something I might see at a truck stop. This, this is, this is, this is the only thing I got. So that's, that's, that's one of the things that keeps me coming back is because of how just truly unique it is to use this. I mean, just look at that. That is, that is the coolest thing in the world to me that we are in a day and age where we have tech like this available. But anyway, I know I rambled a lot in this video, so I hope that you were able to stick around for the whole video and I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, Z Fold 2, one week later, and we will see how this thing goes as this little experiment continues to go. Try before you buy. <laughs> you know, I guess that's what we'll call it, try before you buy. But anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. It's your man, Tech King Mike. I will see you guys on the next video. Be safe, have a good one. <laughs>